Tensions are running high on Serbia's border with northern Kosovo, where at least two Serbs and two NATO soldiers have been injured in a fresh round of clashes on Monday. Locals are resisting NATO forces' attempts to dismantle Serb barricades put up to oppose an alliance takeover of disputed checkpoints. For more on this story, we are now joined by filmmaker and author Sasha Knjezev. Sasha, thank you for joining us. Uh, NATO's role in the standoff is being called into question. Do you think that they're fulfilling their peacekeeping mandate in the region? Uh, absolutely not. Um, the situation in Kosovo is pretty much uh, the entire destabilization is an act of desperation from the Kosovo Serbs who have inhabited that area for decades, centuries. You know, you can make that argument. Um, the abandonment of Belgrade. Belgrade has clearly taken the option of being dictated and mandated out of Brussels. Brussels is uh, being very influential and strong arming. Boris Cottage and the Serbian Parliament into joining the EU. Now, we have an inter interesting situation here in that Serbs are increasingly increasingly skeptical about joining the EU. Um, we have obviously the monetary situation with the, with the euro, the destabilization of the euro, and more and more Serbs outside of Kosovo in Serbia proper are now questioning the point of even joining uh, the euro from a monetary perspective, but this centralization of power from Brussels is clearly dictating uh, Tadic and the Serbian government. And what we see in Kosovo now is the Kosovo Serbs acting out of desperation because they feel abandoned. They, they feel abandoned by not only the Serbian government, but perhaps psychologically even that abandonment from the people themselves. So acts of desperation, which are always economic, the uh, NATO is clearly running things in Kosovo as a state, as a mandate, as a government. And what happens is increasing violence. You know, we see, we see the same situation here in the United States with econo economic uh, disparity leading to uh, citizens being uh, beaten, shooting with rubber bullets, which is the same case that happened that's, here in Oakland. That's right, Sasha. I'm sorry to cut you off, but don't you think with the EU mediating the negotiations between Serbia and Kosovo, do you think they're any nearer to finding a sustainable solution to the crisis? Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We, we uh, again, th there's been, there was a poll in Serbia just recently where just as recently as two years ago, more and more of the population is moving uh, away from this idea of assimilation through uh, within, the, within the EU because of what's happening. I mean, we look at what's happening with not only the, the euro as a currency, but you know, there's complete chaos as, as, it, as a governing body and entity in, in Europe as, within the EU. So, I don't think that the, the cost of the situation, again, in, in my estimation, it's, uh, it, 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 it's the abandonment of the coastal Serbs. They don't trust Belgrade in representing them, and they are acting out. It's a clear cry for it, the voice of desperation for someone to hear them because they're, they're clearly trying to take matters into their own hands. Uh, in your book, Through the Western Lens, you examine the media's portrayal of Serbs and Serbian culture. Is the media twisting people's perception of the situation? Yes, my book deals with Serbian representation through the entire media apparatus um, that is not only uh, cinema vis-a-vis uh, -vis Hollywood, but also through the Western media apparatus, uh, literature, but primarily I deal with the media and Hollywood. And Hollywood is very instrumental um, in perpetuating this balkanization of the Balkans, um, if you will. That's, that's sort of the term. Um, it, in every Hollywood portrayal of, of, of Serbia as, as a populace, as a population, as a culture, as a people, we see this negative portrayal. Obviously, Russia saw it in the 80s uh, during, you know, uh, communism and whatnot. But what we're seeing now is not only are we seeing the Western media apparatus perpetuate this notion of balkanization, we're also seeing that any, any form of representation in Western cinema of Serbs has to perpetuate this idea of war, of fragmentation, of ethnic rupture. It needs to be perpetuated. If not, there would be no, there would be no representation. That's in other good. words, we, even, we well, even see directors, eminent directors in Serbia doing that as an outlet to get exhibition. I'm they so didn't. sorry, Sasha, but that's all the time we have. Sasha Knezev, author and filmmaker, joining us from Los Angeles. Thank you for your time. Great pleasure.